So you guys wanna learn about US Agent? Oh my goodness, you're in the right place. In the comic books, John Walker eventually ends up becoming US Agent. But before he's actually US Agent or even Captain America, this guy goes by the name Super Patriot. Sort of similar to Captain America, this guy just wanted to be an American hero, just like his family. But because when he went to war, it wasn't really a time where he could even prove himself to be a hero, he just kind of feels small compared to his brother, who to him was the biggest hero that existed. So what do you do when you can't be an American war hero? You go to someone who can give you powers. He ends up going to this guy named the Power Broker. And even though you should definitely never trust these Craigslist ads, this one actually turned out great for him. And he ends up a super soldier. Instead of using his powers to become a wrestler, sound familiar? Spider-Man! My name's the Human Spider. This guy ends up trying to become the next Captain America. And during a time when Captain America is not so hot because of a fiasco in Europe, he sees the perfect opportunity to defame Captain America. He starts hosting rallies all over the country to prove that Super Patriot is the next Captain America and that he fights for the people and that Captain America is not young enough, not hip enough to fight for America. This guy even sets up fake attacks to make it look like people who love Captain America are attacking him at his own rallies just so that he can give himself more buzz. Of course, back in the 80s, Captain America was not gonna have any of this and he confronts Super Patriot and it does not end well. Not only does Captain America have to deal with Super Patriot, he also has to deal with Super Patriot's goons who for some very odd reason are just as souped up as him. So Super Patriot's goons, the bold urban commandos, start causing havoc in Captain America's name. And this continues to make Captain America just look like someone who doesn't actually fight for America anymore. When Captain America finally decides to confront him with just a little more vigor this time at a pop festival, and yes, they use the words pop festival, Captain America shows that he's the bigger man and walks away, which makes Super Patriot want to attack him. The one thing that Captain America wasn't 100% sure of was this guy's fighting skills. And even though Captain America has him on that edge, Super Patriot is still incredibly strong, incredibly durable. This guy knows how to fight well enough to keep up with him, and Captain America could not put him down. So it ends up being a draw. Luckily for Super Patriot, Captain America decides to quit being Captain America because the government wanted to basically control him, and they would dictate where Captain America could and could not go. Now with America not having a symbol of hope, the government decides to pick a new Captain America. And who better than the guy who has been talking shit about him for months? So. John Walker becomes Captain America. But you can't exactly just pick up the shield and know how to use it. So Walker has to learn how to use the shield and fight like Captain America. So the government has a secret team that trains him and this secret team is made up of villainous mutants called the Freedom Force. I will say for a man that did not know how to use that shield properly, taking down two out of three of them is not bad. But because they need him to learn how to fight sooner rather than later, they have Taskmaster, someone who has managed to memorize everyone's fighting style, teach Walker how to fight like Captain America. Now, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Walker basically takes over the Captain America comic book from the 80s for almost 30 issues. So there is 30 issues worth of Walker Captain America material out there that I just cannot cover in a respectable time frame. So I will tell you a couple hot points. This guy wears the costume and he has to team up with Tarantula in South America. And while he's in South America, he doesn't exactly keep a cool head. This guy is a much more violent Captain America and everyone sees it. Even Spider-Man is scared of this guy. When he gets his first mission to fight the Watch Dogs, it goes pretty well. But even that is way too violent and he almost kills people. Thanks to his newfound fame, some of the people that used to hang out with Super Patriot want their cut now that Walker's Captain America. And because he could only take one of the urban commandos with him when he became Captain America, the other two get pretty pissed off. They become left wing and right wing, and they decide to reveal Walker's identity to the world, and that gets his parents killed by a couple watchdogs. So what does the man who is not mentally stable do? He decides to go kill a couple watchdogs and almost kills left wing and right wing. After that, he ends up surprisingly fighting Red Skull inside of a clone body of Steve Rogers. And to make it even more awkward, he ends up fighting that clone body of Steve Rogers with the actual Steve Rogers, who is now going by the name The Captain. Obviously, you know how this goes. Captain America and The Captain end up beating Red Skull. No problem, easy peasy, the day saved. Here's the problem. Everybody knows that John Walker is currently Captain America. Everybody knows that this guy killed a bunch of people and almost killed his former partners. So the government decides to give him a new identity and they leave John Walker assassinated. But instead of letting him live out his life happy on a farm somewhere with no memory of the horrible things that had happened to him, 
and the mental destruction of his parents' death, they end up taking him and turning him into a new type of hero called U.S. Agent. And they train him better than he had ever been trained before. Single-handedly, as U.S. Agent, this guy's able to destroy an Ironmonger. From this point on, John Walker becomes permanently known as U.S. Agent. And I can tell you right now that things do not get better for him after he becomes U.S. Agent. Let me know what you guys think about the origin of U.S. Agent in the comments section below. How much of this do you guys think they're going to take for the TV show? And leave suggestions down in the comments, guys. I love your suggestions. I really do. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.